Info Factory Track for CSI, User Setup Requirements for the Shop Floor module. There are two types of users that need to be set up for CSI Shop Floor. These are Supervisors and Users. For more information on this, see the Factory Track Shop Floor Dedicated vs. Generic Employees video for more information. Shop Floor users need to be set up using the Users form in Factory Track. It should be noted that each employee might not have a user record. If they do not have a dedicated user, then they will be using a generic user to log in with. On the Factory Track Information tab, there are four parameters that impact the functionality for the shop floor of transactions. These parameters are user can change clock. When this parameter is checked, the user can change the date and time in the header for any of the shop floor transactions. This means that a user can start or end a transaction at a time or date that is not the current date or time. For example, a user with this parameter set to true could do a start run and create a record that looks like it was started on the previous day or an hour earlier than the current time. Because a user that has this parameter set to true could create records that do not have the current time, this parameter is typically not checked for a user and should only really be used by experienced shop floor users or supervisors. The next significant field is the employee. When a user is associated with an employee by using the employee form, then the employee information will be displayed here. Again, please see the Factory Track Shop Floor Dedicated vs. Generic Employees video for more information. User Initials. This field is used to store the initials for the user. These initials will be used throughout Factory Track to identify the person who ran a transaction. It should be noted that there is also a user initials form on the employees form. Factory Track will first try to use the text in user initials on the employees form. When the employee does not have any user initials, then Factory Track will use the user initials from the users form. Finally, we have the Work Center field. This field is used to specify the default Work Center for the user. When the user record has a default Work Center, the Factory Track Work Center form will use this value in the form's Work Center field. Having a value in the Work Center field on that form will then let the form automatically filter the job list to job and operations in the user's Work Center. Business case is a terminal is sitting in the assembly area and this terminal is logged in with a generic user. This means that every employee who uses this terminal will be working on jobs in that area or work center. As a time saving feature to reduce mouse clicks, Factory Track can be set up so the terminal user has a work center of assembly. This means that any employee who uses this terminal will not have to set the work center in the work center form to get a list of jobs or operations in that work center. Shop floor work groups are shared amongst all factory track modules. This means that any transaction from any factory track module can be included in any permission group. For instance, the FT administration group can include time track administration forms as well as shop floor administration forms. It should be noted that the ability to run or open a form is also controlled by licenses. This means that even though the fa factory track administrator might have a time track form, the user cannot open that form if they do not have the correct time track license. Shop floor groups work in a similar fashion to the way Windows permission groups work, in the fact that groups stack. This means that all users have the base group and user could also be an employee and administrator. These users would have the factory track base, factory track employee and factory track administrator groups. Factory track base required for all users is group to provide access to all of the base objects in factory track. Factory track console. This group is for factory track users who use a console. For example, a terminal on the shop floor to access Factory Track. Factory Track Employee. This group is for Factory Track users who are dedicated employees. This group will have access to all objects that a dedicated employee would use to access Factory Track. Factory Track Administrator. This group is for Factory Track users who are responsible for managing the Factory Track application. These users are typically people who usually maintain setup, reference, and system data. This can include, but is not limited to, employee records, transaction parameters, and ERP connection information. Factory Track Supervisor. This group is for Factory Track users who are responsible for other employees. This group will provide access to Factory Track forms used to manage and review employee data. Factory Track Team Leader. This group is for Factory Track users who are responsible for a team and can do transactions for an entire team, such as starting and ending a team run. An Info System Administrator. This group is the standard administrator group for all Info OS applications. This group can be used by iOS applications to manage the Factory Track application 
for example, the group can be used to create FactorChat users, as it also allows access to other info administration actions. We would recommend that this group is actually used sparingly.